Hello there ladies and gents. Okay, so we're over here at the wonderful Neil Farley's Make Mobile app page and as we skim down the page you can see here is the pre-filled Aweber form. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about and as you can see my name and my email address are already in this form and all I need to do is click register. Okay, so if I really enjoy what's on this page, uh, I don't need to fill in my name and email address anymore. I can just click register and uh, job done. So what I want to do is show you exactly how you go and do that. So I'm heading over here into Aweber. Uh, this isn't a tutorial on Aweber, so I'm going to presume you know how to create lists and all of that kind of stuff. And I'm simply going to show you how to create this web form and get it uploaded onto Facebook. So I'm here in web forms. I'm on my list Joe test and I'm clicking create a new web form. OK, uh, so in here, this web form needs to be 300 pixels wide. OK, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to click 300 pixels. Um, and the bit that it auto fills is this middle section here. So I'm going to get rid of that bit. I don't want that. I'm going to get rid of that bit unless you want to write something about your spam. You might even want to get rid of this footer or put in something there about, you know, we hate spam as much as you do. This is where you can put in here, you know, click register to get our free gift today whatever it is that you want to put there and you can obviously you know center that and bold it and do whatever you want with it and increase the font size and all that kind of stuff okay um, all right so I'm just going to save that and that's my form as it stands at the moment um, and I'm just going to get rid of that footer actually because I'm not putting anything in there for now okay and then I'm going to simply save the web form and go to step two. So I'm going to leave the form name. This is the most important part. Enable Facebook registration form. That's why I made it 300 pixels wide. So I'm going to click that. If you didn't make your form 300 pixels wide, then Aweber will automatically adjust that for you. And if you're creating some really nice kind of background, um, you know, images or anything, then you just need to be aware that you need to leave a box that's 300 pixels wide. Here is where you can obviously put your custom thank you page, etc. And then you simply click save web form again. And then we're going to go to step three. And here's where we're going to publish our form. So we're going to go into I will install my form. And you want the raw HTML version. OK, go to the raw HTML version and simply grab oops, the whole page there. Grab the code in there and copy that. So I've just on my Mac command seed that you may want to control C if you're on a PC. So I'm copying that. Then we head over to the Social Networking Academy tabs. Now, if you are already a free member or a premium member, you'll recognize these tabs. If not, and you're seeing this for the first time, there is a link below this video and you can go and sign up for your free account, okay? Completely free to go and create some tabs for your Facebook pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my test page, Joe's test page for the SNA, and I'm going to add a tab to that. So I'm just going to go and add join us, for instance, and then click add tab. Now, this name here, these are just suggestions. All of these tabs here, uh, these names are simply suggestions um, for you to use. Oh, it's logged me out. Hold on one second. I already had um, a tab called join us on that page. I think that's why that happened. But anyway, it's I've added a tab called blog. So all I did was just go in and grab blog. And as I was saying, um, these are just suggestions. Once you get into Facebook, you can completely change these tab names um, to be whatever you want them to be. OK, so they're just suggestions for you. So I've added that tab and I'm now actually going to click on that blog tab. Now, once again, this is not a tutorial on how to use these templates. I've got loads of videos over on the fan page showing you exactly how to use these. And once you sign up for a free account, there's all full training available. All I want to do for now is show you how to add that form. So I'm going to simply um, open the tab height. So we've got a blank canvas to work on. And I'm going to drag the widget called Autoresponder. Okay, we're going to drag the Autoresponder widget across. And I'm simply going to go into this box here and I'm going to paste the code that I've just received from Aweber and click add widget. Okay, and that is going to add this onto my page. I'm just going to resize that box there. And then you can go and drag that onto your page anywhere you want it. So if you've got a little offer um, and you've got, you know, your um, ebook up here and your headline up here, you can use image and text and YouTube videos and all sorts that you can just drag onto these templates um, and your form would be down here. OK, so that's where your form would go. And then you simply click Update tab. 
to save that. So that's saved on your tab now. And then you simply click Publish because we want to go and publish that on Joe's test page for the Social Networking Academy. So I'm going to add that in there. And so now if I go all the way down here, we can change these around and just click on Blog. And this will show you the form. Dun, dun, dun. And here it is. So there's your instant registration form all on Facebook. Okay. Um, and you can edit this once you've changed the name. You can move this up and down and put that wherever you want on the page. Um, and just very quickly, just so that you know, let me click done. Very quickly, if you actually go to your wall and click edit page. And then go to apps. And then go and find the blog app and just click on edit settings. Then here you can put a Weber opt-in, for instance. Oh and click save okay and then that is going to change the name of that tab if we go back to view page and we can see that tab is now called Aweber opt-in okay if I click on that tab then there is the Aweber autofill opt-in form how cool is that or it will be any second when it decides to show its face on my page it's just my connection a little bit slow here um, so there we go that's how it works so I hope that's been helpful to you today um, happy autofilling <laughs> and I'll speak to you soon thanks a lot guys bye